Kia ora, hello everyone. It's week three of the 2024 New Zealand Rugby League Sky Sport Women's Premiership coming to you live from Cornwall Park in Auckland. It's a double header today. Later on we have the Men's Premiership, but right now we have the woman with Auckland taking on Canterbury. Taylor Curtis joins me in commentary. Kia ora, Bevan. Well, what a beautiful Sunday afternoon it is for some rugby league and plenty to play for coming from both sides. With especially with the Vulcans have a sniff at getting into the final with the top two teams going straight through. Yes, indeed. It's been an entertaining start to the Premiership so far as we head into week three. Auckland currently one win, one loss. And as we've mentioned before, Taylor, you can't really afford to lose two games in this Premiership if you want to make the final. Absolutely not. Well, with counties losing yesterday against Akarana, it really puts the Vulcans in a handy position to put on some points against this Canterbury side and get, give themselves a chance to make that final. But the Canterbury side, they've been looking very impressive. The rugby league is growing down there, and it's just really impressive as the cross-coders that they have on offer have just developed that support play, and it really works in their favour. Canterbury currently one win, one loss also. So they are in the same situation as Auckland today. It's a must win to keep their final hopes alive. And so it's an important game for both teams here at Cornwall Park. As we have a look at the results so far in week three in the men's counties, Monaco tipped up Akarana 36 points to 32 in the women's yesterday. Akarana beat Counties Monaco, 22 points to 18. And Wellington beat Waikato, 24 points to 18. And so the points table looks like that in the men's. Counties and Auckland are on top. Otago knocking on the door as well. Akarana, Waikato and Bay of Plenty make up the premiership points table. And a small, but no doubt passionate crowd building here at Cordell Park. And Auckland, as we have a look at the Auckland starting lineup, Fare Mate, Edmonds, Abraham, Rangi Toka, Lua Pepe, Davis and Totari make up the back line. And in the forwards, Futumuala, Carmont, Savieti, Talamai Val, Hull and Nelson make up the starting 13. George Carmont, the head coach of this Auckland side, we caught up with their camp earlier. We're joined here by uh, Auckland Vulcans, Albi Vete. Albi, it's a beautiful day for a home game. What's the plan today? Uh, yeah, it is a, a beautiful day after some heavy rain uh, late in the week, but uh, the girls are really looking forward to you know getting out there today. There's a few ladies getting their first opportunity uh, to play in the team, so yeah, um, they're, they're really excited to get out there. Talk us through some of the debutants. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a back row and, um, and also a centre, Saf, uh, she's making her, her debut to, uh, for the competition this, uh, this week. And um, yeah, she's, um, she's been training really well and, um, you know, she's getting her opportunity today. So yeah, I hope, hope she goes well. What have you been working on throughout the week? Um, just a, a few of our combinations through the middle. Um, yeah, we've just been trying to tweak a few things uh, with how we attack. And um, I th feel like that's the strength of our team is our forward pack. So... We've just been trying to work on um, a few plays through the middle, so hopefully the girls can apply it today. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Good luck today. Cheers. Thank you. So the thoughts of the Auckland campers, we have a look at the Canterbury side. Alan, Kanathi, Gates, Thorne, Manu, Napa, Rapira and McGregor Paco make up the back line. Of course, McGregor Paco, the captain, Samaili, Arona, Mata, Ohairi Fox, Tongi Aso and Lotu make up the starting 13. Joseph Purcell Mika, the head coach of this Canterbury side. We caught up with their camp earlier as well. We're joined here by Canterbury Bulls' is Joseph Purcell Mika. Joseph, how are the girls feeling? How's the preparation been this week? Uh, the girls are pretty um, in the high at the moment. Uh, preparation has been good. Uh, we know we're up against a, a good team this, uh, this week. Uh, I think they're on second on the table, but um, you know, the girls up for a good challenge and um, you know, we're hoping to get here, uh, get the W up here and um, go back home, mate. What's the keys to success today? Uh, just complete, be patient. Um, I know it's a hot day, so the girls got to slow it down and uh, play to our pace. Um, you know, they've got some good um, young ones out there, fast, um, energetic, so we've just got to do the simple things and uh, play our game. What should the people at home be looking out for? Any combinations you're working on? 
Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Boko coming back into the um, into the side. Uh, she's one of the experienced girls that's come out of our region. Uh, we're looking forward to her. She's playing half. And we've got Bailey there and Katie. So um, no, everyone's out there. Hopefully we um, they go out there and do their best their ability of um, do their, their role for the team. Go well today. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Thoughts of the Canterbury camp. There are the two teams about to run on out. And I can confirm conditions are very good in Auckland today. It is T-shirt weather, as long as you're out in the sun. A light breeze blowing across the ground. It shouldn't play too much effect into this game. And as I say, reasonably warm, 18 degrees. So we should see some entertaining rugby league on display. And I'm pretty sure the rain will stay away today. It'll be good to see how Canterbury are able to start this game, especially because in the rugby league environment, they're travelling on the day that they have to play, so it's tough conditions to start with. But hopefully they settle down nice and early to take on this Vulcan side who are looking for a powerful win. David Millett will look after this game. We're set to go. Auckland to kick off to Canterbury. Left to right as we can see it. Here we go. Week three continues in the New Zealand Rugby League Women's Premiership, brought to you by Sky Sport. And Canterbury will have first touch as they take the first hit up. Taking it to ground, Samaili. Time to play the ball. Now Orona. Driving up his Tongiaso. Canterbury on their own 40 metre mark at the moment. Canterbury, Arona. Now, Poco drawing in the defence. Player to watch out for today in the number 11 jersey. Up to the halfway, Arona again driving it up this time. Mata up inside the Auckland half. They come, Canterbury. This is a good start, a good set. To begin with in this match, pull on the inside again for Simaili. Trying to bust her way through. Canterbury getting close to the danger zone. Arona hits the short side. There's Porco, puts in the high kick. Auckland will take this deep inside their own half and take it to ground. Safe at the moment, Auckland. Yeah, what a great, fantastic set for Canterbury to start this game up completing it and beautiful way to start it and then pin down at the moment the Vulcans in this red zone here it is for Auckland this is Edmonds now running it out as Torka got the pass away Auckland still inside their danger zone at the moment now they hit the short side again charging it up further forward is Futu Moala powerful run from the prop well, there again for Carmont. Hits the short side again. Davis goes wide into touch. It goes. And Canterbury will have possession just inside the Auckland half. Fantastic start for Canterbury. As we said, they completed a set, but then turned around and switched that mindset straight into defence and then kept the Vulcans down in this half. That's an impressive start for them. Samaili. So Play the ball, Porco hits the short side, Canterbury. Charge it through the forward, a good start from the away team. Playing all the rugby league early on inside this Auckland half now on the charge again. Mata for Canterbury. Arona will play dummy half. Hits the short side. Here's Porco. Nice quick hands from her. Canterbury trying to keep this alive. No mistake there, so Gates Thorne plays the ball. Here's Porco. Now Arona in that first receiver, double pumps. Gets past the first defender. And a penalty for Canterbury. Yeah, just slightly high there. Potumoala just slightly slipped up. He got the head of Arona. You can see Shante Porco just allowing the tap there she's a very experienced player someone definitely to look out for in the number 11 jersey former kiwi fern and former warrior when the women had the warriors team in action 
Auckland will have a scrum here, a stake from Canterbury. So Auckland with a chance to get out of danger again. A must win today for both these teams. Both teams with one win, one loss so far. Only the top two teams on the table will make the final. So you can't really afford to lose two games in the Premiership. Auckland. Driving it up this time through Nelson. Now Carmont. Auckland driving out of trouble. Now Carmont in at dummy half. Has a dab herself. Just short of the halfway. Now they go wide again. Stepping again is Nelson. She's been busy already this set. Makes it just short of the halfway. Five minutes gone. Still nil all the score. Calm on. Moves it on now, Auckland. Bang it away. Canterbury will field this deep inside their own half. Allen. Safe. Yeah, that was a great option from John Sal Totari just to put boot to ball and then managed to chase it herself and then complete the tackle on Paige Allen there. It's a fantastic option. Now let's see what Vulcans can do on defense. Canterbury still deep inside their own half. This Auckland defense, very aggressive. Now Canterbury. Here it is for Arona. Much better defensive effort from Auckland this set. Canterbury still pinned deep inside their own half. Driving it up now is Lotu. Good go forward ball from her, just short of the halfway now, Canterbury. Arona hitting the short side, Porco going wide. Canterbury with a real chance here, Kanathi. Chips and chases. The bounce will be interesting. In fact, it goes out on the full, and Auckland will survive. Nice little interplay there from Canary. Poco coming around that left-hand side and initially created the overlap. They had the numbers. And a little miss ball straight out to the edges there for Kanathe. Nice option for the boot to ball as well. Just unlucky for couldn't find the grass. Here it is now yeah, for Auckland Talker moved it on, ball's gone loose. Was it stripped away illegally? Yeah, there was definitely two in there. We can see Zion Lelpipe taking it through. She's a strong ball carrier too. And she knows exactly that was illegal. You can't be doing that. Auckland, first attacking chance inside the Canterbury half. Tap and go from Torka, running hard, getting through the other side of the first defender. Auckland now really on the front foot here, looking for the first points of the match. Edmonds plays dummy half, moves it on to Carmont. Now Auckland straightening through Howell. Slow play, the ball here for Auckland. Carmont again, hitting the left-hand side. Auckland asking questions of this Canterbury defence. Charging... Paco Lucia, now Carmont, quick ball again, Auckland charging towards this Canterbury line. Canterbury holding at the moment. Auckland applying the pressure, Carmont, out it goes again, now Davis, ball there for Auckland, trying to find a hole, was Talamai Val. She's short, now Carmont decides not to pass. Then kicks it across field, wobbly looking kick, it might sit up anyway. Canterbury have knocked it on. And Auckland will get another set of six here and continue this pressure on Canterbury. Oh, big defensive effort coming from Canterbury right now. They'll be knackered after that set. Auckland looking close here. Very close to the line, just short. Carmont flings it out again. Auckland could, should crash over. And they do. First try for the Blue and Whites. Yeah, fantastic. Monica Fakauselia just getting over the try line. She's a great, strong ball carrier out of the club from Altara. 
luckily enough have been able to play alongside her anytime she has ball in hand, a little cheeky celebration too. She gains those meters and she's just such a powerful player. This is what initially gave them another set to work with. Kanathe couldn't collect the ball, unfortunately had to go straight into the defensive work. And here we see beautiful miss ball straight to the line work of Fakaf Salia. Fantastic work from it. So first try for Auckland, Fakaf Salia. Dotting down. And Auckland draw first blood in this must-win match. It looks like Sapphire Abraham is lining up the kick here. This is who the coach said we need to look out for. It's her first game back into the mix of this one after coming back from an injury. She spent a little bit of time over in Australia earlier this year as well. One of the tricks, the trade of the rugby league environment that they've got over there. She's such a versatile player. She can honestly play anywhere on the field. Today she's got the centre position and kicking duties. Fantastic. Good start for her. Two points are there. Six nil the score. Ten minutes gone. Auckland lead. Here we see the try initially from the Vulcans. You've got to give credit as well to, to Lenza Nelson to run that short ball line, which kind of held the defence in the middle there for Fakasalia just to get over. Good start. Canterbury started their campaign well with a win over Waikato. So Auckland bringing it back. Now driving it up for Auckland as Talker. Already made some handy meters today. Ball there for Carmont. Awkward ball and a slight mistake. Oh, that's just a little unlucky there from Carmont. She went to collect the ball, but she looked up and she hadn't completed just grabbing the ball there. But gives Canterbury a good handy position to attack from. That's right, mistakes are going to happen in a game like this. It's just how you pick each other up. You can see the Vulcans are getting around her saying it's okay. Just focus on the next job. Canterbury, this is Rapira. Now Poco, ball on the inside for Canterbury, trying to find some inroads. Looking to reply after that Auckland try. Now Arona, heading the right-hand side this time, charging forward is O'Haiti Fox. Awkward play of the ball, but it's still there now. Canterbury, ball on the inside again this time for Angafili. Canterbury moving inside the attacking zone. Arona gets it out now. Rapida, ball on the inside. Here it is for McGregor Paco. Canterbury edging a little bit closer. Arona again. Hits the right hand side. Poco coming across now. Allen. Canterbury drawing in the defense here. Real opportunity towards the corner. Canterbury getting close. Held up just short. Canterbury still on the attack. Auckland defense rushing, swarming in on the Canterbury side. And it will be a turnover. Oh, you almost think they needed that last minute effort of gas on the right hand side there, but great little exposure there on the Vulcans defense. They had slim numbers on that right hand side. So now Auckland bringing it back through through Fare Mate. Now Edmonds played dummy half for Auckland, trying to get out of trouble. This is Lua Pepe. Penalty Auckland. Fantastic, Zion. Leo Pepe, excited about that one.
Possibly hasn't found that yes, it does find the touchline only just. Good result for Auckland on the halfway. Great kick as well. A little hesitation there whether it was going out or not, but it's a fantastic touch finder. Davis will play the ball for Auckland. Carmont. Moves it on now. Foco Lucia. You scored that. Try. Now Carmont. Auckland on the attack here. Driving it further forward is Talamai Val. Good metres from her. 35 metres out from the Canterbury line. Now driving it up further forward is Nelson. Ball on the inside for Osborne. Another penalty, Auckland. Yeah, Canterbury need to bring down the discipline just there at the moment. Referee having some words there with McGregor Paco. Yeah, at the moment, they're giving the Vulcans the opportunity to march themselves down the field. Big defensive effort coming from Canterbury. Here come Auckland again, charging further forward. Fakul Solia. She scored the first try. Can she get another one? Auckland again. Ball on the inside. Auckland getting closer. Here it is for Nelson. Centimetre short. Canterbury really under the pump here. Auckland. Carmont. Awkward pass. Canterbury have it. And now a chance up the field. Here it is for Pakal. And a mistake in the end. Yeah, Canterbury will be stoked with the defensive effort. They needed to get up. And that it was Bailey Rapira. Experienced player. Fantastic work. She had McGregor Paco as well on her left-hand side. They shot up to put that pressure on. Were able to read that display that Vulcans were trying to play there. Canterbury. Deep inside their own half, they've knocked it on. Auckland will go back on the attack. Oh, unfortunate. Manu just looked up without the ball in hand. Just another big defensive effort now. Auckland to really apply the pressure here. Looking for try number two, left and right options. Inside the attacking zone, Auckland, they hit the right-hand side. Through the hands they go. Strong run from Torka. Auckland looking for try number two, Carmont. Plays dummy half, gets it on. Drawing in the defences, Holwood gets in closer. Carmont gets it out again. Short ball, Auckland. Twisting and turning and powering them themselves over to score. And they get another one. And that comes from Talenza Nelson. What well, great work from the Vulcans. Just a great shape that they were able to display there. Anytime they had the ball carrier, they were getting outside their numbers, getting on that third defender. And here we see beautiful short ball and beautifully read as well from Totari. Straight into the hands of Nelson, who was hitting it from a beautiful angle. A little spin and go as well, just to finish it off. Walker get try number two. Talenza Nelson crashing over. And now the extra two-point attempt to make it 12-0. After 18 minutes. Yeah, Vulcans will be pretty happy with that. Able to capitalise on a couple of penalties that Canterbury were giving it away. And then they were so close there until Canterbury came up and forced the ball turnover. But man, they'll be really happy they were able to put some points on there. The conversion is missed, so 10-0 the score. 19 minutes gone, Auckland in front. Here we see the final piece of that beautifully just 
weighted ball. It just popped, held up there for Nelson to glide onto. Need to put some more bodies on Nelson to stop her when you're that close to the line. Yeah, she's a strong ball carrier. She's stoked about it. Canterbury, kick off, Auckland. Bring it back here, off the back fence, winding up. And returning the kickoff. Strong run from Taylor Osborne. Now Auckland hit the short side. Chance again as they bust her up the park, Auckland. Still going, fantastic run from Talker. Got the ball on the inside. Auckland will race away and score a fantastic try. Malingi scores. Yeah, that's fantastic. I've seen Jana Magali do that plenty of times in the club scene and now in the women's premiership. That's fantastic. Now, what a breakout run originally from Rangi Toka on that right-hand side. Just a little slid through the mismatch there. And then just to complete it, she had about four defenders chasing her there. It's great support play from Jana on the left-hand side. What an impact to bring straight off to the off the bench as well. Good try for Auckland straight off the kickoff. And they're starting to possibly run away with this game. Canterbury really under the pump early after the first quarter. 21 minutes gone. 14 nil. It should be 60 nil in just a moment. Canterbury will be just taking a moment. Fantastic off the boot, Saf, before she missed it that close and she was able to get that one, she's stoked. But yeah, Canterbury will be taking a moment there just to collect themselves. They need first up tackles initially. Toka, she's a, such a strong ball carrier from Taniwharo. You're gonna have to put two bodies in front of her to stop her. And then at the moment, Vulcans will be feeling fairly confident right now. Sixteen points to nil. Twenty-two minutes gone. Of course, thirty-five minute halves in the women's premiership. Shorter kickoff. It's going to not go the 10, though. And a mistake from Canterbury. Mangele. Tap it on the halfway. So, Auckland. Back inside the Canterbury half, they go again. Playing the ball. Buckle, Celia. Now, twisting in the tackle. Auckland is Mangele. Charging further forward as Howell. Now they hit the left hand side. Davis coming across, drawing in the defense. Wrapped up by Boko. Auckland, though, still in the attacking zone. Now charging further forward up. Talamai Val. Auckland looking for their fourth try of the game. Mangele. Another penalty for Auckland. Here's Fuckle Salia, winding up, getting close to the try line, Auckland. Looking for their fourth try, Mangele, 
Plays dummy half on the charge as Osborne. Driven back and then driven towards the try line, Auckland. Still very close. Mangele hits the short side. Here it is for Davis. Coming across now, Auckland. Looking to get themselves over again. Yes, they do. Great footwork and a try for Abraham. Yeah, great there. Pro work from the Vulcans. Nice shape that they showed. You can see they had the numbers on that left-hand side. And they were all set on that right as well. Beautiful weight. Great from Davis as well. And just a little left foot step to finish Sapphire Abraham. She knows where the try line is. She's able to put possibly another two points onto that one. So Auckland hit the 20 point mark. 10 minutes to go before half time. And so far they have dominated Canterbury. Canterbury in that first sort of five minutes had possession and territory down in that Auckland half. But since then it's been all Auckland. And they've put on 20 unanswered points, possibly 22 in just a moment with this kick from Abraham. Yeah, Canterbury started really well. They were able to the, complete their set. They start nice and sl slow, take their time. It's exactly what their coach asked from them starting the match. That's what they were able to do. But then it's just a couple of penalties started to leak in and some ill discipline. And then the Vulcans, once their tails are up, they're absolutely confident and they've got such experience in their side working through John Sal Totari as well, just to get into motion. Got a number of threats across the park in this Vulcan side too. Check back at this Auckland try. Abraham just stepping away to score. Conversion was missed though. 20 points to nil. Nine minutes to go before half time. Auckland dominating at the moment. Auckland, knock it on, and that's a break for Canterbury. They need something down this end. They need to be the next to score, surely. It was a beautiful kick. Before it didn't pay off for Canterbury, but that time it did. Unfortunately, John Salto Tari just couldn't collect that one. She's a great, calm-headed player, Totari. Won the club championship this year, uh, premiership, sorry. Here come Canterbury, Porco. Got the pass on, but had not too much possession. Here's Gates Thorne. Taking it to ground now, Arona. Hitting the short side, Porco. Through the hands, Canterbury. This was Manu. Allen will play dummy half, Porco. Again, Gates Thorn. Canterbury desperate to score next. Arona going left hand side this time. A little bit awkward, but it's still there. Or Heidi Fox powering through this Auckland defence. Hard to put down. I think Canterbury prop now. Arona dummies and goes herself. Auckland defence holding. Canterbury, here's Porco, now to Pena, McGregor Paco, driven back by Auckland. And that's the end of the set. Well, it seems Rapira wasn't happy with the way that they've completed that, but they should still be proud that they were managed to get themselves into that position in this zone to keep the Vulcans. They want to pin them down here. Oh, that's exactly great response from Canterbury. Get themselves down in this position and then force that turnover. You can see. Canterbury on the attack. 
very desperate to score it up here. Gets it on now, Paul Call coming across again. Allen, nice quick hands from her, Canterbury. Here's Napa. Canterbury have gone backwards. It's good, solid Auckland defence from Lua Pepe. Now Allen got it on to Manu. She goes forward. Good aggressive Auckland defence though. Canterbury 15 metres away from the line, Arona. Now charging further forward, good run from Simaili. Four metres out from the Auckland line, Canterbury. As we get closer to half time, Arona. Canterbury charging through here and they'll crash over, have they? No. Held up. Good Auckland defence. Yeah, that was great defence from the Vulcans at the moment. Haven't been under a lot of defensive pressure yet, but they're showing some good heart. You know, Canterbury through the hands of Heidi Fox. Here's Porco going wide. Auckland nearly got the intercept. They run away with it. Slightly a knock on by the looks of things. Yeah, Zion Leo Pepe. She had numbers to defend for her side, so that was actually some really good defensive pressure from her. Unlucky he just didn't go to hands cleanly. But you can see Poco did that beautiful wind-up long ball because the numbers were there. The three on two. Just unfortunately couldn't find the hands of her own player. But good defensive work from Zion Leon Pepe. Canterbury still on the attack here's Rapeta. Ball on the inside for McGregor Paco. Trying to find some inroads. Four minutes to go before half time. Arona hits the short side. Ball on the inside for Simaili. Pumping the legs. Another penalty, Canterbury. Tap taken, Poco. Now Simaili charging, still going, hard to put away. She dots the ball down, and Canterbury do get their first try. Oh, what a response, Harmony. Simaili. Just to finish on there, man, she had a number of carries in that play as well. But she just showed so much heart and determination to get over that ball line. Here we see she had Theo Heide Fox on her left-hand side, but she didn't need that support. She just absolutely used all her strength and lead drive to get over. A fantastic finish there. That's exactly what... You want to be able to ha get turn the penalty back into some points of your own. They definitely needed it, Canterbury, if they want to stay in this game, by all means. This game isn't completely sold, although 20 points for the Vulcans. You know, in a game of league, anything can happen. A much needed try for Canterbury as halftime approaches slowly. 20 points to four, Canterbury on the board. Make sure two point attempt is missed. 20 points to four. You almost think Canterbury have almost had about two or three chances on that right-hand edge so far. I get a couple of tries, and this time they've gone to opt through the middle using the beautiful work of their forward pack. I'd like to see some more work coming from Poco's boot because I've been able to see her in the Canterbury Rugby Union environment. She's got such a good range. It's sort of good to see her put a little bit more pressure against this Vulcan side through that. Auckland with no rush to kick off. Just two minutes to go before half time. And passionate fans in the crowd here today at Cordwell Park as Canary bring it back from the kickoff. Oh, Heidi Fox. Oh, 
slowly coming here now. Orona, awkward pass, it's gone backwards. Canterbury still drive it up. Canterbury just short of the halfway. Now Orona. Now Gates Thorne up to the halfway. One minute to go before the break. Canterbury moving inside the Auckland half. 20 points to four the score. Arona. Now Poco. Dummies and goes and gets through the defence. They got the pass away to Napa. Getting close to that touchline. Stays inside the field of play. Good work from the winger. Allen plays dummy half. Here's Poco again. She puts in the high one. Pressure here on Auckland. And they take it comfortably in the end. And they'll bring it back as well. Now Auckland, this is Abraham from dummy half. Now Auckland. Driving it up here. Looking to finish off the half strong. They'll have a handy lead going in at half time. Now Mangele. Auckland again, Mangele. You know, kick and chase from Auckland. It's going to find some open real estate at the back. Canterbury under a bit of pressure. Allen will get there first. And she'll take it to ground. There's the halftime siren. That'll be halftime here at Cornwall Park at Auckland. 20 points to four, the halftime score. Auckland lead Canterbury at halftime. Welcome back. 
Half time here at Cordell Park in Auckland between Auckland and Canterbury. Auckland at the break leading by 20 points to four. As we have a look at the first half highlights. And after an early yeah. onslaught from Canterbury, it's been all Auckland, especially that first 20 minutes. And they were the first to crash over, Taylor. Absolutely, Monica Whakosalea opened the bank account for the Vulcans nice and early. Here we see it again. It was just great ball work from Carmont. And then she had an inside runner as well. And then here we see another try from Nelson, who's had an outstanding game so far from the Vulcans. And a strong ball carry from Rangi Toka. That right hand edge to find the hands of Mangele to finish it off straight off the bench, straight into play and straight under the posts. And then Auckland scored their fourth try. Again, their attacking onslaught continued of Canterbury. This time Abraham stepping away and scoring the fourth try for Auckland. But Canterbury haven't given up. And they replied eventually with a try to Simaili. And Canterbury closed the gap ever so slightly. Not giving up in this contest, but it is half time. And it's Auckland who lead Canterbury by 20 points to four. Don't go anywhere. The second half is next. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Just jump in, sorry, mate. Uh, here with Tusa Lafaeli. Tusa. Yeah, uh, talking here. It's a beautiful day here at Como Park. Tusa Lafaeli is here with us. Yeah. Are happy? You happy with that, Dean? How's that for the, the talk? It's all nice and tight to camera. Okay. Just go in a little bit. Just so you can reach. Okay. Hold on, hold it, hold it. And, uh, yep, ready. ready. Oh, yeah, mate, sorry, I've lost hold of you. Yeah, not bad. All good. All good. <laughs> We're joined here We're by Auckland Vulcans, Susa Susa, it's a beautiful day for footy. How's your prep been? Yeah, it is a beautiful day, and uh, the rain's kept away, so um, our prep for the week, it's... Uh, been really good, uh, just unfortunately we had some injuries and we had to pull some players in, but um, the players that we, we were pulled in, um, we're excited for them. Some new combinations, talk us through them. Um, new combinations from last week, um, but um, they they were there in the first half, so Cartier's back and then we've got Dylan, so that'll be a, a new combination in our house, but like I said, exciting for them, for both of them. What are you expecting from Waikato? Um, wa Waikato, like every year we'll play them, they have the strong team, the, their mana, um, their, their culture, what, what they have in Waikato and the belief. If you give them a sniff, they'll, they'll take it and it'll be a, be a tough game. But um, um, we're, we're prepared well and we're ready. So. All the best for a good game today. Yeah, um, yeah, it'll be a tough one. So we're focusing on our tantalising attack and our tantalising uh, defence and our tantalising effort on effort. Thank you. Tantalising, I like that. <laughs> what time do you want to mount? Because we're one minute from air. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Start, just ask them. Um, we're 30 seconds away, I'm going to go back. Ask Dean, mate. Mark of the Dean, when do you want to back up? Sometimes it feels like you're moving up. Welcome back to Cordell Park in Auckland. Beautiful day here in Tamaki Makoto. Half time, 20 points to four the score. The home team, Auckland, dominant at the moment over Canterbury. And Taylor, if you were the head coach of Canterbury at half time, what would you have said to them? I would have said that they started off well, ended well. It was just the stuff in the middle at the moment, just keeping giving penalties away. It's just giving. Vulcans another set to work with and getting themselves in a handy position too so I'd be saying let's rely on Shante Poko's boot, she's being able to work around left hand and the right hand edges too 
So you'd want to be running off her all day. And we saw little glimpses of it just before the halftime that she's gearing up for it. So teams are back out onto the field. And Auckland with a 16 point advantage. Must win for both these teams, both teams with a one win, one loss record. And as we've mentioned, you can't really afford to lose twice in the Premiership because only the top two teams make the final. There are no semi-finals in this year's competition. Canterbury will kick off to Auckland, left to right as we can see it. Second half underway. Thank you for your company here on Sky Sport. Sky Sport Women's Premiership continues week three. And Auckland will drive it back through Fakosulia, now Mangele. Auckland stepping up the park. Now Mangele, Davis, got the pass on. Here now for Talamai Val. Here's Davis again moving themselves inside the Canterbury half. Davis stepping. Auckland. Now Abraham in from dummy half. Bumps off the first defender. Wrestles with the second. Still going. Arona wrestling with her. Finally takes you to ground with some help. Auckland though. Back inside the attacking zone again. Penalty Auck. No. Just a mistake. Canterbury will get the ball. Oh, unlucky there. You could see Sapphire Abraham had a, such a strong ball carry as you bumped off Paige Allen initially. Which is unfortunate. Just a little bit of niggle around that breakdown there. Just spilt the ball out of Abraham's hands. Poco feeds the scrum. Canterbury get it out now. Rapida ball on the inside. Canterbury can't really afford for Auckland to score again. Now, Arona straightening up for Canterbury. There's Gates Thorne. Now, Arona. Oh, Heidi Fox. Muscling her way up further. Canterbury hitting the right hand side this time. Here it is for Lotu. Pumping the legs. Hard to put away. Auckland struggling with her. Good run from Lotu, Canterbury. Up to the attacking zone again now, Porco. Down the short side, chips and chases herself. Now the race is on, Auckland. Under a bit of pressure here. They dive on the scraps. And they'll save the day through their winger, Lo Pepe. And Auckland survivors, they look to set off. Yeah, great set there from Canterbury. I mean, you can see Porco put boot to ball and finished it with a chase there. She had the numbers as well. It's a nice little shake to start with. In the second half for Canterbury. Here it is for Edmonds. Now Mangele. Trying to draw in the defence for Auckland. Was Totari. Got the pass away. Auckland keeping this alive here. Now a chance down the right wing. Here it is for Edmonds. Up over the halfway. Inside Canterbury territory. And Auckland. Move themselves towards that Canterbury try line. Now a kick from Auckland, from Totari, and that's gone out on the full, and Canterbury will get possession. Fantastic ball movement from John Sal Totari initially. She had three defenders on her, and she was still able to get that offload away to Toka on that right-hand side. Just got themselves out of a tricky situation on the field. Now, McGregor Paco, Canterbury. Near the halfway, she's asking questions of the referee. Arona moves it on. There it is now for Auckland. Sorry, should I say Canterbury? Tongi Aso. Ball's been knocked on backwards by Gates Thorne. Picks it up. Canterbury still have possession. Now, 
Arona. Paul Court, ball on the inside. Canterbury driving it up through Lotu. Arona. That's the left hand side now straightening up for Canterbury is Similey, the try scorer so far for Canterbury, the only try scorer, and a penalty for Canterbury. Some words coming from both sides there <laughs> with the referee trying to take control. Just a lot of heart going into this one. A couple of easy penalties given away from the Vulcans. Uncharacteristic, though. We're very disciplined in that first half. Here it is for Canterbury. Samiley taking on the Auckland defence, pumping the legs. She's angry. She's fired up. Canterbury looking for their second try. Arona hitting the short side. Here it is now for Tongiaso. Here it is for Adorna. Has a dab herself from dummy half. Canterbury. Desperate to score again to close the gap slightly. Short side play now to Pena. Drops in the kick. The race is on. Auckland will field it. And another set of six coming up. A goal line dropout coming up here for Auckland. Nice little play there from Rapira to just put a little jab in behind the defence there. And had great chase on it too, just forcing the winger Edmonds to take the ball out. Here we see Rapira, the little weighted kick there. Yeah, fantastic, they get themselves another set here. Well, the Vulcans now have defended for about two or three sets now, so they'll be digging deep in this one. Goal line drop out for Auckland. Canterbury to go back on the attack again. Here's Allen. She's knocked it on. A mistake. And Auckland will have possession. Playing to the whistle. Auckland. Have a dab down that short side. And a penalty for Auckland. Well, the Vulcans get... The get out of jail free card from that one. Paige Allen couldn't collect the ball. Fantastic as well from the Vulcans getting away with that one. Well, Auckland driving it up through Torka. Mangele. Auckland with some go-forward ball here. Powerful run this time from Howell. Penalty. Yeah, just the ill-discipline starting to creep in for the Canterbury side. That's what allowed the Vulcans to march down the field in the first half. They want to clean that up really quickly. You don't want to give Vulcans the lead that they can't crawl back from. Auckland driving it up again this time. Now Mangele hits the right-hand side, straightening up. There's Fotu Mawala up inside the attacking zone. Mangele hitting the right-hand side. Auckland changing direction. Mangele again. Keeping this going, Auckland. Driving closer. Nelson. Centimetre short for Auckland. Mangele plays dummy half. Has a dab. And she's knocked it on only just. Oh, gutted. For Jana Mangele. Oh, just so unfortunate there. We can't really get away with that one. Oh, let's take a look here. Well, Jana, she had a little snipe. She looked up. She went to place it. Oh, it's the foot of Paige Allen. Fantastic defensive work from the boot of Allen. Canterbury survive. They can't afford for Auckland to score again. They need to keep scoring themselves, Canterbury. Still, the scores remain the same since halftime. 20 points to 14 minutes into the second half. There it is for Hull. Uh, 
sorry for Canterbury. On the short side they go. Stepping is McGregor Paco. Now Arona, Poco. Driving it up now, Mata. Arona again. Poco. Weighing up her options, throws the dummy, wrapped up around the ankles. Good defence from Abraham. Ball still there for Canterbury. And a mistake. Yeah, unfortunate there for Poco. Just wasn't clean ball there. It's great. Spot tackle there from Abraham as well, coming from the left-hand side. A little chop, had to keep her low. Wanted the quick play the ball, but Hooker wasn't there. Now Auckland, Mangele from the back of the scrum. Now, Fare Mate. Auckland charging it further up. Now Torka up inside the Canterbury half. Got the pass away to Edmonds. Getting close to that touch line. Staying in the field of play only just. And now it's gone up. Yeah, you've got to see whether or not the tackle was completed before trying to drag her out. And they say that it was. Krieger Paco from Canterbury was begging for the sideline referee to call that she was out. But he gave clear instructions it wasn't. You'd almost think they nearly dragged her out so quickly with three numbers there on defence. Here come Auckland. Back on the attack. This is Hole. Carmont back on the field now for Auckland. Here's Mangeli playing in the first receiver position. Got the pass away, Auckland busting through here. Now Carmont has a go herself, then got the pass onto Davis. Huge defence on her. But she's a tough cookie, Carmont. Changes direction, Auckland still on the attack, Mangeli. Dummies and throws it back, here's Davis. Flings it out again. Auckland, Abraham got the pass away. It's been deflected. Should be a knock on Canterbury. Auckland still with possession. Faremate, straightening. Now Carmont. Driving it up now this time for Auckland. Getting close. Carmont. Still going, Carmont. Low play of the ball now, Auckland getting it out. Here's Mangele. Throws the dummy, then gets it on further. Awkward pass. Auckland have to dive on the scraps, and they've gone backwards. Good rush deep from Canterbury. Good pressure. What a tackle set from Canterbury. In particular, Caitlin Arona, number nine. All in a part of that one. Completing about three tackles in there. Close to the rut. Goodness me. That was some effort from the Canterbury side. And what a shot coming from Poco as well on Davis. But like you said, Davis is tough, tough cookie. She bounced back up after that one. Well, here we saw the initial break. Foto Moala, beautiful line off the work of Mangale. Initially got themselves in a handy position, but Canterbury's defense was relentless. Canterbury trying to get out of danger. Still the score remains 20 points to four. 22 minutes to play in this game. Canterbury. Driving out of their own territory at the moment. Now Napa. Coming across field. Big defence from Auckland. Aggressive defence from Torka. On Dana Napa. Ball still there though for Canterbury. Arona. Now driving it up. Mata. Just short of the halfway. Arona. Rapira. 
Coming across. Now McGregor Paco got past the first defender. Rapida under a bit of pressure. Adorno has to control it. Auckland are trying to come through. Here it is for Porco. Relieving the pressure slightly. Got the offload away. Now Rapida kicks it high and wide. And the ball is there for Auckland who filled it nicely. And maybe a chance to counter here. Taking it to ground and a penalty as well for Auckland. Yeah, that's a hard set to defend when the ball is just getting flown around like that from the Canterbury. The Vulcans, they stayed composed there. Talamaya Vail just getting under it just to collect it to find Abraham here. Oh, it's a good defensive set from the Vulcans. Well, Auckland. Up by 20 points to four, but Canterbury have put on a very big effort the second half. The scores remain. Auckland and Canterbury both playing for their seasons here. On the halfway, here's Carmont. Got the pass away again. Auckland bashing their way up. There's the offload again. Carmont straightening, nearly getting through the other side. Now Mangeli. Hits the right-hand side. There it is again for Fotu Moala. Pumping the leg. She's been busy off the bench. Up inside the attacking zone, they come Auckland. Left and right options. Now Mangeli. Holding. She's always a danger in that playmaking position. Carmont. Gets it out. Now a real chance here for Auckland to crash over, and they do, and they increase their lead. Yeah, Wendy Savayete, just beautiful, strong ball carrier and player that she is. Just gets over the try line and nice and easy. That was a beautiful set from the Vulcans initially, probing right and left on site. But Wendy Savayete, strong as she is, gets through the work of Paige Allen. get Vulcans into this match. They've been very impressive all day. Now Auckland increased their lead. It's not what Canterbury wanted. They increased their lead and now the extra two point attempt. Both these teams desperate for a win today. The Auckland Vulcans, they know they need to win this game convincingly with points because as counties, Monaco, they lost to the Akarana yesterday. So Akarana are first on the board. Counties are second at the moment. But if Auckland Vulcans win this game but by a certain amount of points, it goes down to the points differential, they could see themselves into the second position. It could two is good for Auckland. Now the score, 26 points to four. The home team in front. Cruising at the moment, Canterbury. Really under the pump. Yeah, great work there from Carmont to Savayete there. Both Wendy Savayete and Fotu Moala, they're strong ball carriers in the middle there. He's putting on the grind at the moment and just taking about three or four bodies to get them down. Canterbury will kick off again. Porco gets things going. Auckland will wind up and bring it back again from the kickoff. It's Fotu Mawala for Auckland. Now Carmont, short ball for Fare Mate, got past the first defender. Now Auckland, this is Carmont, Mangele, throws the dummy, they got the ball on the inside, charging it up. Saviete got the offload away as well. Good work from Auckland. As they move themselves back inside that Canterbury half, Canterbury. 
Go back under pressure again. Carmont from dummy half. A nice slicing run from her. Looking for the offload, then got it away as well. Auckland looking dangerous at the moment. Abraham got the pass away. It's still there. Now driving it up is Lua Pepe. Got past the first defender. Penalty Auckland. What a sequence of play. Zion Liao Pepe there with the high tackle. She's a tough one herself. You could definitely take that one. I played alongside her on the left hand edge for Otara. She's a hearty, hearty woman. Auckland applying the pressure again. Looking to increase their lead in this must win match. Carmon hits the right hand side. Now stepping away is Futu Moala. Carmon going towards the right hand side again. Auckland asking questions of this Canterbury defence. There's the offload. Fare Mate got the pass away. This is still alive here. Auckland with a chance at the corner and they bash themselves over to score. Another one. Fantastic response there from the left hand side all the way to the right to find Rangitoka. She's been an impressive today. Well, Canterbury probably asking a couple of questions whether or not the ball was knocked on from Whare Mate initially. But they carried that sequence of play. Let's have a look. Oh, here we see. Strong ball carrying. We want to see the knock on here. Whoa, did it touch the hands of Whare Mate here? <laughs> what do you think, Bevan? Possibly, but now it's in the history books. Yes, they don't have TMO at this level. But nonetheless, Toka, she deserves a try next to her name. She's been an outstanding player today. Good try for Auckland. Another try for them. And at this stage, they will keep their season alive. Canterbury are facing their second defeat of the season. Canterbury, the 2021 champions. Playing Auckland, the 2023 champions, last year's winners of the Premiership. There's Abraham. Lines up the extra two. And her kick, not a bad kick at all, just short. 30 points to four, 13 minutes to play. Yeah, definitely saw the fingers of Whare Mate there. But what a strong ball carry from Toka, absolutely bunting off the players. McGregor Bucko on that one. Some entertaining rugby league on your Sunday afternoon. Don't forget this is a double header. Coming up next, we've got the men playing. Auckland versus Waikato. Canterbury started the season strong, beating Wellington back in round one. Then a loss to Akarana last weekend. As that ball's found the touchline. Canterbury will get the ball back. Yeah, nice little kick there from Poco. You just want Canterbury to just focus on completing this set. Because any time that they are... They haven't many, had many opportunities in this part of the field. Putting Vulcans under a little bit of pressure. But we'll just be able to see what they can do here. Canterbury on the attack. Now Poco comes across and got the ball on the inside there for Manu. Canterbury desperate to close the gap. Another penalty. Time is ticking away though. How desperate are Canterbury? Orona taps. Driving it up now, Canterbury. Here it is for Angafili. Oh, 
Now Adorn got the pass on again. Canterbury, hot potato stuck from them. They've knocked it on. Auckland should have possession here. A mistake from Canterbury, so Auckland will survive. Yeah, just a little unfortunate there. Totari got herself in a handy position into that passing lane that forced that mistake there from the Canterbury side. Incredibly hot down here. Yeah, this summer is approaching. It is T-shirt weather here at Cornwall Park at Auckland today as they move it out. Auckland getting out of danger. Strong run from Torka. Auckland juggle with it, but keep it alive now. Holwell. She's been solid today, the back rower. Now, come on, coming across. Charging further forward, Saviette. Come on. Another dab from Dummy Half, got the pass away to Mangele. This is good work from Auckland again. This is entertaining rugby league. Slight mistake, though. Yeah, the referee calling for the forward pass there. Against Carmont and Mangele. It's a little unfortunate there. Looked like they were getting on a real good roll on. Again, Fotu Moala and Saviete. Second rowers have been really impressive today, putting in a lot of work. Well, here we saw the forward pass. That's just a little unfortunate there for the Vulcans. Canterbury. On the halfway, here it is for Rapina. Ball on the inside for McGregor Paco. Inspirational leader, McGregor Paco. Wonderful talent in the centres. Now Canterbury. Drive it further forward this time through Angafili. The victory will be out of their reach now, Canterbury. But can they finish with a bit of pride? Winding up. Driving it further forward. Now Arona. Has a dad from dummy half herself, catching some defenders napping. Canterbury looking to finish strong. Arona plays the ball, Poco. Goes the short side now to Pena, holding the pass and gets it on McGregor Paco. She takes it to ground, 10 metres out. Eight minutes to play in this contest. La Pena. Now they go across further. Canterbury, there it is for... Tongi Aso, Arona. Now a kick in a cross field. This will be interesting for Canterbury. They should field it. And they should score the try, do they? No. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Canterbury. Beautiful display. Had Paige Allen in, in amongst that one, as well as Napa. Just really unfortunate. But the fantastic work from Zion. El Pepe. Get a hand and involved in that one. You almost think that Napa had her own, her own player had their own hand under that one. Yeah, interesting call. Bit of miscommunication as well from Canterbury when they both went up for it. Auckland though, looking to return it and they've already made it up to the halfway again. Holwell again, straightening up. Powerful runner. She's had a good game today, the back rower. Now it's there. For Carmont and a mistake from Auckland. Yeah, you can hear John Sal Totari talking to his side, the Vulcan side just to lift and bring the energy. They know they need to close this off. They have got the strong finish that they needed, but you don't want to leak in any more tries. Here's McGregor Paco for Canterbury. Six minutes to play in this match. Now driving it up as Tongi Aso, up inside the Auckland half. Canterbury. Still looking to finish strong now, McGregor Paco. 
Changes direction. Nowhere to go. Wrapped up by this good Auckland defence. We've been good at swarming on Canterbury today. Now, here it is for Simaili. Ball there for Canterbury. Now, Arona. Poco coming across. Here it is now for Napa. Nice quick hands. Allen's juggling with it with her feet. Dives on the scraps. Again, good defence from Auckland. Good pressure. Canterbury. Napa plays dummy half. Now, Poco. Puts in the high one. This will be interesting. Auckland look to field it. Under a bit of pressure. Canterbury have picked up the scraps. Have they knocked it on? It's gone dead anyway. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Mary Karate just couldn't collect the ball there. A fantastic work play from Poco's boot. A bit of sun in the face of the Vulcans as well. But unfortunate. Mary Karate couldn't collect it. Would have been a fantastic try. Four minutes to play. Auckland looking to finish the the game strong with a thirty to four lead at the moment. They'll keep their final hopes alive. It's Farimate. Now Carmont, here it is, now for Edmonds, getting involved off the wing, Carmont, always a danger, got the pass on, Auckland, up to the 40 metre mark, Canterbury Territory, Carmont again, goes the right hand side, now a chip and chase over the top, Canterbury under a bit of pressure here, Nupper has to go back for it, she's by herself, but she'll take it to ground safely enough. And a penalty for Canterbury as well. Yeah, just a slight head hit high there from Totari. There was nothing in it, though. You can see Napa just unfortunately slipped on the ground. Made contact to the head. Canterbury, deep inside their own half. McGregor Paco taps him, gets it on. Now it's here for Heidi Fox, still going. She's been good in passages today for Canterbury. Now McGregor Paco again, determined captain, driven back by this aggressive Auckland defence. Canterbury. Two and a half to play, looking for their second try. Never giving up Canterbury. Now Arona. Deep pass for Poco. Drops in the kick, looking for some space. Not a bad kick, looking for a... 40-20. Will hold up, though, at the back. Bringing it back again, Farimate. Running hard. And a good result for Auckland. And a good play from Fare Mati from the back. Relieving the pressure. Now Auckland, Edmonds. Gets past the first defender. Now Auckland. Bringing it back this time through Diamond Henry. Gets a rare touch in this game. Now Mangele. Got the pass on Auckland, breaking away. Now a chance here for Auckland. They're going to race away and score. Canterbury's defence, not good enough. And Auckland score under the sticks. Nelson scores. What a fantastic way. The Vulcans absolutely broken up. The Canterbury defence. Great work from Gianna Mungele. Had hands all over that one too. Here we see the initial run, absolutely run with intent. Straight into the defence. Drew in two defenders, and then Nelson, she still had to finish and complete this one, get around the last defender. A cheeky little finish, she spotted some fans and some family, I can imagine, on the left-hand side of the field to complete that try. Fantastic work from Nelson. Now, 
Auckland race out to a 30 point lead one minute to play in the game as well Auckland will go two and one a much needed win to keep their final hopes alive it might not be over for Canterbury but it's going to be a big miracle if they want to make the final now they can't afford to lose any more games that is for sure and they'll have to rely on other results to go their way if they want any chance of making the premiership final is Mangele looked for the extra two and nails it 36 points to four yeah this Vulcans side very dangerous especially once they've built a bit of confidence you can see that they're just got all smiles on their faces over that performance there isn't too much time in this contest full-time Huda about to go any moment Canterbury one last chance for something the there's only seconds remaining in this contest there is the full-time Huda that won't go the 10 and that'll be a penalty on the halfway for Auckland and no doubt this will be the final play it depends on what they're going to do here maybe some razzle dazzle to finish off this what has been an entertaining game what do Auckland want to do Surely you look to just kick it out. You don't want to cause any more injury. No, they're going to go for the try, Taylor. They're not giving up on this contest. Auckland trying to keep this alive. Edmonds throws it back in. Canterbury defence is aggressive. Auckland still keeping this alive. Big bumping run from Auckland. Into touch they go. That'll be full time. And a dominant display from Auckland to keep their Premiership hopes alive. They have beaten Canterbury 36 points to four. Yeah, that's a classic performance from Vulcans. Very, very onto it today. They managed to keep Canterbury down and out of the areas of the field. They took full control of the match. Let's have a look at the, the highlights of the game. The first half, it was all Auckland in that first sort of 30 minutes of play. And they were the first to crash over, Taylor. Absolutely. Fuck off, Celia. She's been a good player for the Vulcan side to be picked up. Strong ball carrier. And here we saw their second try come from it. It's a beautifully weighted pass from Totari and initially to find Nelson. This was her first try in the match. And then... Rangi Toka, centre on the right-hand side. Beautiful run from her. And then to able to link up with Jana Mangele, who just came off the bench and found herself under the post for that one. And then Auckland, they struck again. This was their fourth try. And their last try of the first half. Abraham stepping away and scoring for Auckland. And Canterbury not giving up right before half-time. Their big forward. Simile powered her way over the score and at half time it was 20 points to four in favour of Auckland and then in the second half it was all Auckland again firstly a try to Savietti then they went wide and possibly a knock on there the ref didn't pick it up though and Auckland scored in the corner Taylor absolutely Rangi Toka she has been out at standing centre for the Vulcans she deserved that try as well. well like you said, there was a finger in it from Whare Mate. And in this one, it was just the initiative for Jana Mangele to penetrate that line and then find Talenza Nelson on her left-hand side to split up the defence of Canterbury in a fantastic way to wrap up this game. Yes, indeed. So 36 points to four, the full-time score. Auckland beaten Canterbury. All righty. Let's go down sideline.
We're joined by Auckland Vulcans, John Sell, Totori. John Sell, how was that? Yeah, um, a bit hard on the lungs, but no, great day for 40, so yeah, very proud of the girls. Highlights, my highlight was when you took the ball right at the end, gave the big time argue, any others? Yeah, nah, just across the board, our edges, really proud of the return on the exit sets. Um, stand up for me on the edge was Leah, um, just a total beast, so yeah. Anyone here supporting you today or watching at home? Yeah, got all my critics, my family <laughs> on the side, so yeah, I bet I'll get an earful of them after this. <laughs> Wonderful, fantastic game, lovely day for footy. Congratulations. Cool, thank you guys so much. So the thoughts of the Auckland camp. As mentioned, they go two and one. Already, alrighty, let's go down sideline again. Shade, oh, you prefer, oh, that's a shade. Yeah, it's shade. We're here with Canterbury Bulls, Shade McGregor Paco. It was a tough assignment, under strength. Um, how proud are you of the girls today? Oh, uh, ka te kara ki te mihi ki te kaupapa o te wiki nei, uh, ko te wiki o te reo Māori, no reira, tēnei rā, ka tuku mihi ki tēnei kaupapa whakahirahira ki a tātou ngai Māori, uh, o te rā mō o mātou uh, tūpuna i, i whai tēnei ara uh, kia hua ai uh, e nei taonga ma tātou ara ko te reo. Uh, kia ora, so yes, uh, tough battle out there today, but like you said, I am proud of my girls, you know. Um, we didn't give up. We knew we were going to chase a really well-drilled Auckland side, uh, so we knew that coming up today was going to be a battle on attack and on defence, and uh, it was exactly that, but, you know, my girls didn't give up until that end whistle, so I'm definitely proud for their efforts today. The theme of Tewiki was ake, ake, ake. You went all day. Uh, you know, what was the message out there when you're up against it? Oh, it was exactly that. Ake, 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 you know. Uh, we'll, we'll give our best effort through and through. We won't give up. Uh, we'll grind for each other. You know, that was part of our message today is the one percenters do the basics right. And obviously our middles had to work really hard because they had some strong carries in the middle. But with that, on the back of that was for our forwards uh, earn the right to go wide. So, you know, that was our focus. And who's watching at home? Oh, I think we've got a lot of whānau and friends out there watching. Um, so, you know, uh, aroha goes out to them for their tautoko, uh, supporting us through and through, no matter if we win or lose. Uh, that's, that's the kind of aroha we have back home. So I know um, despite the loss today, we're going home to proud whānau and friends and uh, that feeling can't feel any better. Well, congrats. Oh, tēnā koe. O te rā tēnā koutou e tautoko ana i a mātou. Tēnā i te mihi aroha ki a koutou. Tēnā rā koutou. Lovely words from Shade McGregor Parko, a wonderful skipper for this Canterbury team. And so let's have a look now at the results so far in the New Zealand Rugby League Premiership. In fact, we'll have a look at the standings. Of the women's premiership, there you go. Akarana at the top, undefeated so far. Counties Monaco second. Auckland pushing for that second spot. Then Canterbury, Wellington and Waikato make up the premiership. And as I say, a win today for Auckland, meaning they keep their final hopes alive. As for Canterbury, they're going to have to rely on other results to go their way, as well as win their last two games. So that wraps things up here at Cornwall Park. Don't forget there's more men's premiership action coming up soon between Auckland and Waikato. But 36 points to four. The full-time score here, Auckland have beaten Canterbury.